Hey guys, my name is Morgan and welcome to today's video. Today is going to be all about um, green frilly lettuce. I'm going to be talking a little bit about what I've planted, where I've planted it and why. Um, and the order that I had received was on a very windy day and unfortunately I wasn't able to talk a lot. Um, I didn't actually do any talking. I just filmed um, what we did. My sister and I actually planted the lettuce out and I have some footage of that. So if you would like to see that footage, then carry on watching and I'll insert those clips so you can see a little bit of how we did it and just some nice entertainment if you'd like to see. If you would like to skip straight to the tour, then you can go to this time right here and you can get straight to the footage where I explain or where I planted the lettuce and why I planted it there and just a little bit on what's going on around the garden. So without further ado, let's get to some cool planting content. Okay, so now that we have gone through all of the planting, this is what everything looks like. So starting off here at the top, that lettuce is the first one that we put in and here is the second one. So it's under this shade cloth because they do really well with a nice shade cloth. And there are around, I think it's 270 in this bed over here. So this is the first bed looking absolutely amazing. So, on the way down to the bottom of the garden, while I'm on there, I also want to mention that shade cloth is a 40% reducing shade cloth. So it blocks out 40% of the light, which is perfectly fine for lettuce. And I do have a video where I installed all of that, where I put it up and, and set up the whole thing. So I'll link that down below if you'd like to check that out. But now we're at the greenhouse, so let's see what's going on here. So this is where I have some more of the freshly planted lettuce and right next to it I have some lettuce that is definitely ready for harvest um, I'm going to be harvesting these maybe tomorrow and gonna be doing a delivery as well so yeah this is the greenhouse looking absolutely amazing this is a 50% reducing shade cloth um, the 40 or 50 is perfectly fine for lettuce and I've noticed that quite a while ago when I didn't have this up this patch was very wilted and it wasn't doing very well so i'm really glad i have this shade cloth going on with all of the lettuce and this is what we have which is nice and, and new and fresh looking forward to seeing these get nice and big like these ones over here and then coming along we have one of these beds and unfortunately i don't have any shade cloth over these so you can actually see they are a little bit wilted they like slightly 
slightly soft um, it's not going to be that bad they they should be okay if push comes to shove i will get a shade cloth and put it over here like i have with this one you can see how well this lettuce is doing this is a 50 percent reducing shade cloth same as the one that's on the greenhouse is actually just a little spare so yeah that's the lettuce there and this is the fresh lettuce that we planted in a couple days ago you can see it's also looking very very good but they are a little bit wilted just because of the sun but they've been in here for a while and i've actually noticed that they have been fine um they're not as as great as they could be if they had a shade cloth but they are doing pretty pretty okay so they should be all around and then here this is the last one this is one of the long beds that also doesn't have a shade cloth unfortunately but you can see that it does reach the the shade the shade does reach over here a little bit sooner than the rest so this actually does not need a shade cloth um, as the sun goes over then there's some nice shade from the carrots as well so they will do absolutely perfectly fine in here the the carrots will be coming out um, not anytime soon but when they do come out then the lettuce should be well established and the sun shouldn't be too much of a problem but for now they're going to do really well in here so you can see the sun rises just behind this house over there goes up and then there it hits the tree and from there you can already see there's some shade going over on that side so that's what i was meaning where the shade is going to start hitting this bed and that bed a lot sooner than what it would with the greenhouse and those ones over there so that's why i have the shade cloth over those and i'm not too worried about these ones because they won't get as much direct sun um, the direct sun is what actually is a little bit dangerous for for the lettuce so these ones get maybe around three or four hours of direct sun and those ones up there get around five i think it's five to six or, or four to five so that's where it's a little bit um more needed for the shade cloth but over here it's perfectly fine so they're going to do really well and although this video is about lettuce i just thought i'd show you as well i have a little surprise going on down at the bottom here something i've been working on so yeah i have some chicken wire and inside here i have some butternut and you can actually see that a little bit behind the butternut is another plant coming up and that is actually a purple sprouting broccoli um, because i planted the purple sprouting broccoli and nothing came up so i thought the seeds had rotted away i thought they'd uh, completely failed so i planted the butternut seeds in there as well i had them in uh, some module trays and then eventually they both came up and now they are together and i didn't want to separate them i didn't want to mix up with all the the roots and then mess up something there so i just thought i'd put them both in here and we'll see what happens i'm definitely if, if they start battling i'm going to be removing the purple sprouting broccoli because i'm this is the main reason um that i have these little setups here with the the butternut the butternut is what i'm wanting to grow actually so here we have another one over there So there we have it a quick little update on the lettuce and some of the new lettuce that i've planted in as well don't forget i will have that video linked down below if you'd like to check out how i did these little shade cloth covers with the wire and the shade cloth very easy very simple and i absolutely it's it's the, one of the best things i've done for this lettuce because they really do battle with a lot of direct sun even once they have fully established they do wilt a heck of a lot when they are in direct sun so i'm very glad i have the shade cloth thank you guys so much for watching i hope you really enjoy a little bit of a tour and a little explanation on the lettuce that i've got going don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and until next time have a wonderful day and stay active in the garden